Hey guys, happy Friday and welcome back to my writer's corner. Today I thought I would talk to you guys about outlining. Now, what is outlining and why do we need it? Outlining is when you plan your book ahead of time. Now, many writers may think that they don't need it, that I have the ideas down, I just need to sit down and write it and it will all work out on its own. I myself actually thought that for quite some time and then I realized that it doesn't work like that. My stories became jumbled and messy and I didn't foreshadow what was supposed to happen so when things happened it just seemed like I thought of it right then and there and thought it would be a good idea and that does not make for a good novel. So how do you outline? Uh, there are as many outlining types out there as there are writers but normally we split them up into two groups and those are the gardeners and the planners. The planners are people that have a red thread all the way through the novel. They sit down and plan the novel ahead of time, they make the universe whole, they know exactly what their characters are going to say when they need to say it. Everything is planned out, there's no room for anything, really. And then you have the gardeners that are more like we sit down and we do write and just discover the world as we go, I think from so why can't anybody just be gardeners? Well, it leads to a lot of work and it's tiresome and normally it doesn't make a book any better unless you're like a progeny. And then you have the ones in the middle. I am one of those. I like to have the main story planned out and my characters need to be partly or wholly planned out. Like, if But I also like the characters to evolve on their own in the story and for the story to take its own course. So I'm the worst or best of both really. I plan out a bit of it and then just see what happens. Now I am a fairly organized person and I like to be the one in charge, I like to have control over things and therefore I cannot use a computer to outline my novels. Uh, that just does not work for me at all. It just gets too jum jumbled up when I need to, and when I sit and write, and then I need to click into another document to look at, look something up. It just doesn't work. So I'm a big fan of the good old notepad. So what I normally do when I outline is I take a piece of paper and I cut it up into three parts and write the title of the book on the top. This is the first outline I did for the book I edit that is published already. Or it's a copy of it because the other one is stuck somewhere else so I just sat down and did a new one. And piece it up into three parts, the beginning, the middle and the end. So the middle needs to be longer than both the beginning and the end because that's where all the action is supposed to be and everything in between, but yeah. So what I've done here is that in the beginning I've written down what's supposed to happen in the beginning. For me, the for many, the beginning normally is until the part where the character changes and has to take control of what is going on. For me, it's a bit farther into the story because yeah, something happens to the main person saga really early on in the first chapter and there's so much more that should go into the beginning of this series that it had to just... The middle had to wait. So in the beginning I write down who I need to introduce, what is and mainly what is going to happen. And then the changing points happens and the middle happens and that is everything until the ending starts. And that is up to you as the writer to know when it's going to be the ending starting or the middle starting or stuff like that. It's just a feeling, for my case at least. As I said, I'm the worst of both gardener and planner, so I can fairly often get new ideas that I need, that I feel I need to put into the novels, and then I just write it on a post-it and I put it up on the wall so I can look at it and write it in the next time I go around, because I never go back and rewrite a novel before it's completely done. And I guess that's it for today, you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope it helped for those of you that does not know how to outline and if you do know how to outline and do outline let me know how you do it in the comments below are you a gardener or a planner and yeah i'll see you guys later bye